All right, I just went on my maiden voyage with uh, Mutter's Mima here. And I must say, it is quite impressive. I have used Mima one other time, and it was a really hacked version I did back when Linsight was what LIBCM is now. So that was probably 2016, maybe even 2015, I don't even remember. Uh, that's the only other time I've ever driven Mima. And so I drove it today, and I am just blown away with it again. Uh, I wanted to point some things out, so, you know, just this is a Ramley video like all of them. First of all, I, I'm using the grid charger here because I was able to completely kill that pack while getting, you know, 150 miles to the gallon, pl you know, plus. I wasn't in the liters per 100K or whatever. Uh, so anyway, I think I finally understand why people want faster grid chargers. I didn't really fully understand that before. Um, but so this is charging right now. It's, I don't know, 2200 watts. I don't know, whatever 181 times 12 is, about 2000 watts or whatever. Uh, and so let me turn that off because it is kind of loud and I'm sure you can hear it here. So I'm gonna unplug it, got my own little custom plug there. And then I'm also going to unplug uh, the grid charger so we don't get the P16, whatever it is, 48, I, I don't remember, uh, when we turn the key on. I have the exhaust here outside. It's, it's a plastic tubing, I understand that's dangerous. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I wanna show you the behavior. So I'm gonna change the ISO on this video here. So bear with me one sec. We're gonna jack it way up here so you can see inside. There we go. So here it is in place. Uh, again, it would be much, much smaller. And so you basically just cut uh, the wires. I haven't cut uh, the power yet. I still need to write the bootloader so that it turns on immediately. Uh, I also added some pull-ups that aren't in the schematic online, but I'm sure they will be by the time you watch this video. Uh, anyway, so I have this here and we're just kind of logging the states. And so first thing, I've got the car in neutral and we're gonna go ahead and turn the key on. And you can see there's no check engine lights. Well, the check engine light will turn off eventually. Kill the volume there. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so there, I don't know what the blinking check engine light means, uh, but there it goes away. Maybe maybe the issue is clearing. I'm not sure what that's all about. Still, uh, still a beta. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and you can see we're in the pre-start mode right now. And so I'm gonna start the car and I've got it just in normal mode. So car's starting. And what I wanted to show you actually, and, and maybe I've just missed this, I'm gonna go into the manual mode here and then, uh, so there's, I'm regening, but notice the only light that I get is the oil light. I don't get a check engine light. I, I, I was under the impression that there was a check engine light related to this. Uh, and I can, of course, start it back up. That was rough. Uh, so that's actually, I'm not actually doing the IMA start. There's actually a specific command to do that. Uh, and I'm, I'm also not doing the IMA stop. I'm literally just, uh, regening until the engine turns off and I'm not getting any check engine lights. You know, the door open light is because I have all three of the doors open. The brake light is because I have the emergency brake on. If I take that off, you can see it goes away. So maybe I'm just misremembering it here, but it's pretty neat. Uh, and then you can see my mileage, you know, I was saying, you know, 150 miles per gallon. I killed the battery really, really quick. And, uh, and so then I was, uh, you know, driving home on gas only and just basically killed the mileage the other way. But I will say 80 miles per gallon is the, probably the best I've gotten, uh, even over five miles. I know this is not representative or whatever, uh, but really what it means to me is uh, I'm really excited about these 47 amp hour batteries because I was able to kill the LIBC and battery and, you know, probably, I don't even know, three miles, four miles, uh, which is pretty cool. A uh, lot of stop and go traffic or whatever but I really, really like this switch setup. I really like where it is too. Uh, all of the functionality works in the car. The only thing I had to change, of course, was I had to add some pull-ups because the, the uh, built-in ones, the, there were some issues there, but anyway, uh, they're there now. Uh, anywho, I really like where this is when the emergency brake is off. You can just kind of leave your hand here and uh, do your modes however you want to do. Uh, you know, the, the disable region works well, but I did notice actually when you bring the pack all the way down to empty, like uh, with LIBCM down to like 15% or 10%, uh, 
even though I am, I know I am not sending the regen signals through, uh, the MCM is still regening. So it's, I would think it's not the ECM that's actually forcing the regen. Now I think the ECM has a part in it because of course it's showing this charge here. Now, when you get up to higher SOC, like 20, 25%, and it's still trying to background regen, but isn't, uh, it's not force regening. Uh, in that case, uh, of course, putting this in mode two does actually work and there is no background regen. Um, so anyway, I am super, you know, impressed. I know again that I am not the first person to do this, you know, uh, Mike and Peter and, you know, there's like five versions of this, I'm sure. Uh, but I, I was just kind of interested in the, um, um, well there, so there's the battery light. I wasn't getting that before. Uh, anyway, yeah. So as far as a 0.1 firmware, uh, it's working pretty well. So yeah, you know, I think that if someone wanted to take this and, and design this PCB down to where it was really, really small, then it would basically just tape in line here. You'd, you'd cut the five wires you need to cut right around here, and then you would just uh, hook them up here and there. So these would be on one side of that PCB, and these would be on the other, and then you would just wire it directly in line. Um, so anywho, that is Mutter's Mima. And uh, I, I think it's going to change the way I drive the car. And so I totally understand now why uh, people want larger battery packs and people want faster grid chargers because uh, now I want it. Uh, so anywho, uh, as far as LIBCM stuff, I am going to start working on that again tonight. Uh, but I, I'll tell you, I'm really itching to start that 47 amp hour stuff. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if I have a, a prototype here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I've actually got, I'll show you over here. Let me hop this ISO down while I walk over to it. Let's see. I found uh, this uh, sign here in a ditch and it's you know some kind of road construction detour sign or whatever. I'm gonna use that because it's the same thickness, 3 16ths, I think that I was gonna use for my uh, prototype. I've got a couple of other pieces that I already had, but they're a little bit thinner. Um, so that one is nice and thick. So that'll probably become the base to whatever folded sheet metal thing that I do. Um, yeah, so as always, thanks for uh, watching me ramble about something that I don't understand why I'm so passionate about.